Hey everyone, it is Glenn with RocketCityHomes.com. Hope you're doing well. We are getting towards the end of the year, so why don't we take a look the final time for 2024 at North Alabama Real Estate. Uh, before we do that, as always, Mortgage News Daily has great information about the bond market, interest rates, housing data, how they all work together. So highly encourage you to take a look at those at uh, this website. Great information. We'll just take a look quickly at the mortgage rates, 30-year fix, 6.75. The 15-year fix, 6.02. The 30-year jumbo, 7.02. 7.6 ARM is sitting at 6.65. The 30-year FHA, 6.12. And then the 30-year VA, 6.13. Kind of the snapshot is we're certainly nowhere near the highs that we were, but we're not as low as we'd like to be. This is over the last 24, excuse me, the last 12 months. Uh, so we're kind of just sticking in the middle right now of what, what the eight rates are doing. We'll just have to wait and see with the new administration how things pick up in the economy. But hopefully in the next few months, we'll start to see rates come down a little bit more. Taking a look at our market stats, we look at Huntsville, Madison, Athens, and Decatur. That's broken up by size. Huntsville is the biggest city. Athens, uh, excuse me, Decatur is the smallest. And we're going to take a look at uh, sales price. So currently the sales price in North Alabama, Huntsville at uh, 362037 that's down just 0.1%. Madison's at 453,925. That's up 6.6 6 compared to where you were a year ago. Uh, Athens, 346,344, up 1%. And Decatur, pretty big, 291,542, 11.4%. A lot of new constructions going on kind of everywhere, but but Decatur's really starting to hit a lot of this new construction. So I think that's part of, of why we're seeing um, the average prices there. New listings. This is not uncommon. We're towards the end of the year. Not quite as many houses usually come on the market. So this, this number is pretty accurate. Doesn't surprise me. 246 for Huntsville new ones. It's a 4.2 increase compared to last year. Madison's at 121, which is down 6.9 compared to last year. Athens, 137. Almost 40% increase uh, from last year, which is literally pretty pretty darn interesting. And then you have the exact opposite over here in Decatur, 53, which is a decline of uh, almost 34%. So those are some pretty big changes right there. But the total number of homes, total number for homes has gone up compared to where we were a year ago across the board. Huntsville, you have 25.6% higher, uh, more homes on the market than you did a year ago with 776. Madison has 476 homes, which is a 17% increase compared to last year. 527 in Athens, 45.2% increase. And then Decatur, you're at 223, which is a 13.8% increase. Small, you know, kind of generally, gradually, just higher, trending higher overall. A couple of dips here and there, um, but markets are definitely, there's a lot more homes on the market. What does that mean? Homes are staying on the market for longer, which means that it's giving buyers the opportunity to negotiate a little bit more than they might have been able to just a few years ago. Days on market. Um, I think this is lagging personally. I think homes are staying on the market a little bit longer than the, what this is showing. Um, that's not. That's just kind of what I feel when talking to other agents within, within our uh, agency. Folks are, are just seeing homes sit on the market longer and uh, trying to come up with ideas. You can reduce the price, but part of that isn't just pricing. It's just that things are just kind of slow right now. Um, but looking at the average days on market, Huntsville, you're at 43 days, 26% uh, higher than you were last year. Madison, 58 days. That's 100%. So Madison, they're sitting a little bit longer than they used to. Uh, Athens, 56 days, 70% increase. And then Decatur, 61, 144% increase compared to last year. Some of these numbers were because there are fewer homes available, so homes didn't stay on the market longer. We've got a lot more homes. Homes will stay on the market longer. And speaking of that, we look at the uh, our inventory. We have month supply. When we look at this, we're just saying if not one more house came on the market, based on the current purchase rate, how many months would it take to sell all the homes that are currently available? And so in Huntsville, you have about a 3.6 months worth of inventory. Madison has a 3.7 month of inventory. Athens, just about five months of inventory, excuse me, five months of inventory. And then Decatur, you get about four months. So this has been creeping up overall relatively steadily. We've had a little bit of a drop, but I wouldn't see that. I wouldn't be surprised if that went back up. Um, again, Homes are definitely staying on the market a little bit longer. 
Uh, the last thing, no, second to last thing we'll take a look at, and I know this is really busy, a lot of colors and uh, directions, but <clears throat> here we're looking at the uh, average percentage of the list price to sales price. So Huntsville, uh, the, the sellers got 97.9% of what they were asking. Madison, 98.4. Athens, 98.4. And Decatur, 96.8. Down just slightly compared to a year ago. But two years ago, this thing would have been 100, 101%. So we are definitely seeing things trend a little bit down. And then finally, the price per square foot. Huntsville, you're flat from where you were a year ago, $161. Madison, you're up just a little bit, $173. Uh, Athens is at $165. And then Decatur's at $140. So um, as we finish up, I think for the next you know month or two, I think certainly December, January, uh, in probably parts of February, I think things will be relatively slow, but then hopefully once the new administration's in, depending on how people feel about the economy, hopefully we'll get a bump in activity. There's a lot of people that want to buy homes, but interest rates are keeping some people just out of the ability to do it. And then there's other folks that have a home that they'd love to sell. It's too big. They don't need it anymore, but they have an interest rate at two, 2.5, three, and it's just making it a very big challenge to to sell that and then jump into a five, five and a half, five and three quarters or 6%. So let us know, what do you think is going to happen in the market in the next year? You think real estate will pick up? You think it'll decline? What about interest rates? Love to hear your thoughts. With that, I hope you all have a fantastic day and we'll talk to you in the new year. Bye-bye.